Hi, hello everyone, welcome to the Automation on your YouTube channel. In this video, we will guide you through programming Siemens a KTP for the basic HMI. Download it to the real HMI unit and testing its functions. Let's get started, but before we begin, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video to support our channel. Thank you. Let's get started. So in this video today, we're going to use this Siemens HMI KTP for the basic. This is the part number that we are going to use for this video. And you can see the other side of the HMI that have three ports, one is the Ethernet port and USB, and this is the power terminals. So we're going to use this a 7200 PLC to communicate with the HMI to run our program. So let's uh, open the TA portal and create the project and do the HMI programming. So this is our existing uh, TA portal project, which we created in, in our previous videos. So if anybody don't know how to create a new project, please go back and see my uh, previous videos regarding Siemens TA portal creating new project so that you can able to create a new project after watching this video. Okay, in this video, we're going to add a new device and then we start to program HMI and then after program, we download the program to the real HMI unit and then we test its functions. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Double click on the add new device. So here you can see there are controllers, HMI, PC system on drives and today we're going to add HMI into this project. So you click on the HMI. So here you can see the HMI is here. Under the HMI there is a four type of HMI panels here. And today video we're going to use Sematic basic panel. So in this basic panel our HMI is KTP 400 basic. So we will select four inch display under four inch display we select ktp font basic and here there's a three type of hmi panels and our part number is this one 6ab2123-2db03-2 dash dash ax0 so this is the part number that we're going to use for this video so here you can here you need to select the hmi version that matching your hmi physical HMI unit okay I have selected this one because my HMI is as this version so so now you click OK okay our HMI is started to create okay this is the HMI device with that that going to create your communication to the PLC so that you have to select your PLC if already is PLC in this project so you can see here so click on the PLC and click OK then you click finish okay this is how we need to add the HMI to the project okay let's do a small program and then we can download this program to the real HMI unit and then download the program finally we will test this program in the HMI real HMI okay, let's do some basic HMI program Okay, go uh, click uh, on the screens so that you can open your root screen this is the first screen that uh, when you turn on the HMI this screen will comes up in the very beginning so this is our root, root screen so okay this is the tag if you want you can delete it so open the toolbox here you can have a text so that you can use the text to here So welcome, welcome to the automation menu. So, 
so this is the title I just created so you can type it whatever you want if you want to increase the font size then you click here and then click it increase then you can make it on the center so this is how you can do it the simple one so next we will do some create some buttons and then create some uh, indicators so that we can download the program to the HMI unit so for this you need a buttons then you can click on the elements so that you can see here is the button we click on the buttons I try and drop this button here so you can you can write it something start you can copy paste it so that you can use for another another button And you can use the indicator, just use something. And you can write it indicator. So we have to assign this start button, stop button and the indicators to the necessary tags from the PLC. So, so we will write the simple program here first. Open the program blocks. Open the main OB. And you can see here we already written some program. So we can add on some uh, simple tags so that we can keep use this. Program. so we already have a start button with a physical view button so what we can going to do we parallel add on some HMI start button so that we can use HMI and also the physical buttons here so click on this and click on normally open contact and then connect to here then we can add another stop button for the HMI so we can name it this HMI HMI underscore stop like this different tag use the global memory click define then we can use this click on it and write it HMI underscore start and you can right click define tag so select global memory define so that we have created a Two tags which is HMI stop and HMI start. So we will open this HMI. Click on the HMI, go to the screen, and then open the root screen. Here we have a start button. So click on the start button and go to uh, event. We want to assign the tags to this button. So click on the events. And click on the press here add function so set bit L key pressed which means whenever you press the start button your tag will set when you release this button this tag will reset and click on the press 
then here so this just we need to change to click on the plc tags default tag table and go to hmi start click ok do the same thing to the stop button click it press list add function send bit oil key trust and click here go to the plc tag and hmi stop then click ok so now we have linked the hmi tags to the plc as next one we will create we will assign for this indicator do the same thing but this time you need to go to the animation and need to do the dynamic here click on the appearance and then click it here to link to the light on indicator so that I click ok so now you need some colors to display on the indicator right so click here whenever whenever your tag is 0 so it show nothing whenever your tag is 1 then you have to show some kind of color light so what color whatever color you want you can put it down here so that I click this this color so this color will light up whenever the tag light on tag become one so now we have done this so we have linked the plc tags to the uh, hmi buttons so we can download this plc program first and then we can download the hmi program so we download the plc So we will download the PLC program to the real PLC. So click on the PLC and click on the download to device button and then select start search. Then click on with the PLC real PLC and then load. load click finish so so a plc program has downloaded to the real plc is done so next we are going to download the hmi program to the real hmi so click on the hmi and click to download to device wait for the compiling so the compile is done so click on the load so the program is downloaded to the HMI is done so now we will test this program on the real HMI in the PLC okay this is where you can see your a real plc hmi setups here so this is the plc 1200 plc and here you see the hmi so the program that we have downloaded to the hmi so we will test it so we can test now these functions so so now we will test this function so click on the start button So you can see the indicator is on and the light is off so next we can press the stop button to stop this see the indicator is stop and the light is also turned off also we can start we can start from pressing the physical start button you can show the plus button you can see the light is on and this indicator also turning turned on in the HMI so we can stop this from either physical button or in the this HMI button we can press this to stop so the indicator is stop and this light is also is turned off so okay guys that's all for today thanks for watching this video